Hi, this is Dr. Subhatra. In this session, I am going to discuss about the coastal structures, the structures which are going to protect the coast. Uh, the first one is grayons. They are the oldest and the most common shore connected uh, beach stabilization structure. Uh, they will help to create uh, or to widen the beach uh, by uh, capturing the sand. See here, the picture shown here is a grayon. It is an active structure extending from the shore and it is going inside the sea. It is actually the perpendicular structure which is going uh, from the shore uh, towards the sea. Uh, some of the grayons are normal or straight, inclined or angled, submerged. Many types are there. Grayon system of field, T, L shape, Y shape, rubble, mound, okay, uh, repelling, sand filling bags, etc. They are shown the picture here. Some types of uh, grayons are shown depending upon the shape. This is sandbag, this is different shapes, okay. Then what are the characteristics of these grayons? They are usually made of the hard woods which are more resistant to the marine uh, borders and erosion. Some of the grayons are made of concrete steel uh, or in more recent times of large rocks also we will be using. They are placed at uh, 50 to 100 meters apart. Lifespan is about uh, 15 to 20 years. The picture shown here is a concrete uh, grayons which is uh, provided in the Black Sea. See what role it is uh, playing. It is protecting the shore and the waves uh, uh, from the which is coming towards the shore. Then uh, coming to the jetties and piers, a structure which is extended into the sea uh, to influ influence the current or tide or, and to protect the harbour. Everything is to protect the harbour. Uh, it is called as a landing wharf, okay, for landing. Uh, when the ship is entering, uh, the passengers have to move uh, from the ship to the uh, landing, to the shore region. Okay, so it's a landing platform. Uh, see the jetties and piers, how it is extending uh, inside the sea. So jetties are the shore normal stone structures commonly used for training the navigation channels and stabilizing inlets. Uh, then what are the characteristics of these jetties? Uh, they prevent the intrusion of longshore sediment transport. See, when uh, in the long shore, no, it prevents the sedimentation. When the sedimentation is more, no, uh, the navigation will be very difficult because all the ships need a particular depth of water for its movement. When deposition or sedimentation is more, the ship will find it difficult to move. Coastal bridge and piers are shown in the sketch. This is a picture showing the coastal bridge and the uh, piers. Uh, then dikes and leaves. Dikes are the typically earthen structures. Okay, see here the center portion, uh, everything, all the sand particles are just like uh, uh, mounted uh, with the help of two hands, like a structure. It is called as a dike. Uh, they keep elevated above the water level uh, and uh, we can call it as a dam structure also. So, breaching uh, the leaf, the flood water puts some pressure and it may cause uh, buckling. Okay, so the overflow eroded the clay, uh, clay base on the other side. So, the uh, dried uh, leaves or the lawn may be uh, provided above the uh, shore. Okay, so above the slanting portion, it will act as a huddle. It will prevent the uh, sand particles uh, by erosion. Okay. Then coming to the emergency uh, shore protection. See it is called as a gabion. Gabion is like a metal cage which is 1 meter by 1 meter in uh, square. Inside that square you can fill all the materials by means of rocks or whatever material it is. The solid material. You just close it and we can fill all the boxes which is shown here. Each and every round particle is a gabion uh, mattress. 
see here the picture shown here when you zoom it you will be able to see everything is a 1 meter by 1 meter square box inside that stones are filled you can place one box above the other it's called as a gabion it's a sure protection structure uh, they are stacked to form a simple wall they will protect the cliff or the area in short terms only the ad main advantage is it is very easy to use it is cheap but the biggest disadvantage is it, its lifespan is very short nowadays we will be using uh, this x blocks or the tripodal blocks along the coastal shore you can see uh, in many of the uh, movies they will have uh, shown this uh, structure as a, in a song location see here this is a tripodal block they will uh, make these blocks in uh, concrete and they will just put, uh, arrange uh, these tripodal blocks uh, along the shore. It will uh, protect the shore from erosion. See, there is a coastal structure built uh, in uh, Bangladesh. It has around uh, 7, 10 kilometer long coastal line. Okay, they have protected it. Uh, from the natural calamities or the storm surge visit, uh, will visit our country each and every year. In order to protect that, we have to take much more care on protecting our coastal areas from erosion. See here, the structure has been eroded. See, the picture shows the some uh, structures built to protect the coastal areas. So, coming to the conclusion, what is the importance of the coastal structures? Uh, the main uh, benefits of providing these structures are to protect the harbors and the inlets uh, in both uh, commercial and the military navigation links also. It will protect all the infrastructure, it will uh, protect or provide the beach and uh, it will give more stability. It will stabilize, stabilize all the navigation channels, it will give, uh, give a flood protection, it will uh, provide the recreational activities also. So, why should we let such coastal areas to disappear? Uh, in, uh, instead of providing coastal structures, uh, if we leave the uh, beach side as such, all our natural places will get deployed by means of, uh, will get destroyed by means of uh, erosion. So, when we provide all these coastal structures, we will be able to protect it. So, coastal structure influence the wave currents, uh, sediment transport in the near shore environment. Uh, so, a systematic approach is needed uh, to protect it from the negative effects. The All the contents I have taken from the slide show link uh, slide share link uh, shown here. Thank you for listening.